Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Boxing. And John, what did you think about that face off when you faced off with them and you sized them up? What did you think? Uh, listen, it's hard. You can't read too much into a face off. It's, um, it's tough. He's, he's, he's a great fighter. He doesn't show his cards. He's a, I'm sure he's a great poker player. Um, but listen, like I say, I'm looking forward to it come May 6th. John, from attending his fights against BJ Saunders and now fighting him, how does that feel? It's crazy. I mean, I was on, on the undercard when he fought Danny Jacobs um, to then see him fight Pedro Saunders live. I mean, it's a, it's a big event when he fights. And uh, the, the atmosphere in that stadium come May 6th will be great. John, is it safe to say this is a dream come true? Sorry? Is it safe to say this is a dream come true fight? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, like I say, though, I've grafted hard in this game for the last 13 years. Um, I've really earned this shot. It's not been gifted, so I'm glad I'm taking it. How do you visualize the fight going down? Just with uh, two kings being crowned that day, King Charles and King John, coming back to London with their belts. Yeah. What do you make of yourself being, obviously, the underdog of this fight? I, I, lo I love being the underdog. I relish a chance. Um, Ooh, that's, that, that's what I really bring the best out of me. What have you told uh, Saul or Canelo off camera? Have, have you spoken to him? No, we've not spoke. Um, I don't know if we will today, but listen, um, May 6th, I'll, I'm coming for his titles and I'm sure he's going to defend with the heart of, of Mexico. Okay.